CompTIA A Plus Core 1, 220 1101 Practice Exam. Questions 66 through 70. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So, are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 66. Receipts are coming out of the point of sale printer with black streaks across the entire printout. The text is visible but appears overly dark and is hard to read. What is the most likely cause of this issue? The answer is B. Printhead temperature is set too high. Lower the temperature. Thermal printing technology is commonly used in receipt printers. If the temperature of the printhead is set too high, it can lead to the thermal paper reacting excessively to the heat, which results in black streaks and overly darkened images. This happens because the paper is coated with a chemical that darkens when heated and excessive heat can cause a more extensive reaction than intended. By lowering the printhead temperature, only the desired areas are affected, which corrects the issue and produces clear, readable images. Question 67. An employee has requested an upgrade to their company-issued laptop in order to improve performance while working with a large database stored on the same drive as the OS. Which option would best achieve this performance goal? The answer is C. Upgrade from an HDD to an SSD. Upgrading from an HDD, hard disk drive, to an SSD, solid state drive, is the best option for improving performance when working with a large database because SSD provide faster read and write speeds compared to HDD. This results in quicker data access and retrieval. By using an SSD, you can significantly reduce the time it takes to load the database and execute queries. Question 68. A programmer is currently using client-side virtualization and needs an environment that is segregated from the main infrastructure in order to experiment with some volatile code. Which option would be the best solution for the programmer to use in this scenario? The answer is D. Sandbox environment. A sandbox environment provides a contained, controlled, and temporary virtual space where code can be executed without affecting the primary operating environment. This isolation ensures that any potential issues, errors, or security risks introduced by the experimental code do not impact the main system or other working environments. Sandboxes are designed specifically for testing, allowing developers to freely experiment and test the impact of new code with the assurance that it will not cause unintended consequences. Question 69. A customer has brought in a tablet for repair, reporting that the cursor moves on its own. The technician observes that the screen shows no signs of physical damage. What is the most probable explanation for the cursor's erratic behavior? The answer is D. The touchscreen requires recalibration. Over time or after extended use, the touch sensor's alignment with the display coordinates can drift. Recalibrating the touchscreen can correct inconsistencies in touch sensitivity and alignment, which are often responsible for a cursor that drifts or moves unexpectedly on a tablet. This process redefines the touch area to accurately correspond with the display's graphical interface thereby eliminating the erratic cursor behavior. Question 70. A customer mentions that their smartphone was recently dropped. Now there is no response when the user attempts to tap on an app, even though the display shows all app icons correctly. What is the most likely cause for this issue? The answer is A. Damaged digitizer. The digitizer is the component of the smartphone that processes touch inputs. When a phone is dropped, 
the digitizer can be damaged without affecting the visual display of the screen. This means the icons can appear normal, but the phone doesn't register the touch due to the damaged digitizer. Thus, if the screen looks fine but doesn't respond to touch after a drop, the issue is most likely a damaged digitizer. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.